and by 2025, hundreds of thousands of Chicagoans will get their energy needs met by an entirely renewable energy source. And that source is a solar power farm in central Illinois that breaks ground later this year. The announcement comes as the U.S. House expects to vote this week on a wide-ranging proposal that includes the nation's largest ever initiative targeting climate change. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, has more. The planned 593-megawatt solar power facility in downstate Morgan County and Sangamon County would be the largest ever built in Illinois. In Washington, top Democrats hope a proposal nearing passage that they've dubbed the Inflation Reduction Act will actually spark construction of many such renewable generating plants. This bill also is another down payment on moving us uh, into not only clean energy, but energy security, and it's going to reduce the deficit. So a big win all the way around. It appeared all but dead a few weeks ago. Then West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin announced his support. In addition to climate and energy measures, it empowers the government to negotiate for the first time ever to lower the cost of 10 specific medications. It also imposes a 15 percent minimum tax on giant corporations with a billion dollars a year or more in profits. The Senate being equally divided, the vice president votes in the affirmative and the bill as amended is passed. <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris cast the tie-breaking vote yesterday. Republicans vow to make parts of the measure an issue in this fall's midterm election. And what this bill is going to end up doing, it's going to hamper innovation. It's going to raise taxes on the middle class. Let's make sure that Americans make the right choice that makes their life better. And they can do that at the ballot box. If the House does vote and pass the proposal by Friday, as expected, President Biden would likely sign it into law next week. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.